Hey, what's up everybody? This is Michel at Winksound.com. In this video, I'm going to show you Cubase's reverb plugin, Roomworks. If you have any more questions, just shoot me an email at michel at Winksound.com. You can see five different parts, which are displayed according to the signal flow. Signal goes from left, input filters, reverb, damping, envelope, and ends at the output section. But let's start with the first section, the input filters, where you can find two shelf EQs, a low shelf and a high shelf. You set the frequency with, this, with those two knobs at the top and cut or boost with those two knobs at the bottom. You can go from minus 18 dB to plus 6 dB. In the reverb section, the pre-delay knob sets the amount of time between original signal and the reverb. You can simulate larger spaces by turning this one up a little bit. The reverb time knob is basically the length of the reverb tail. You can go all the way up to 20 seconds. The size knob alters the delays between early reflections. So just like the pretty delay knob, you can turn this one up to simulate larger spaces. The diffusion knob affects the character of the reverb tail by emulating different types of surfaces. The width is basically the stereo image. If you turn this one down all the way to zero, your reverb will be mono. If you go all the way up to 100, you're gonna have a wide stereo image. The ALT button is a cool feature if you want to create uh, cool pad sounds. Let me show you. What it does, it basically loops infinitely the reverb. The variation button generates a new version of the same reverb program just in case certain sounds are causing odd ringing. The damping affects the decay time of low and high frequencies. Those numbers that you see right here are percentage. If it's at 100, there is no damping. If you go lower than that, the frequency will decay quicker. And you set the frequency with those two knobs at the top. The envelope allows you to shape the reverb sound. You can set how much effect you want the envelope to have on the reverb by turning the amount knob up. And you have the attack and release control. The last section, the output, allows you to balance uh, between the dry and wet signal with the mix knob right here. Right now I have my uh, reverb as an auxiliary return, so I want it all wet. But I could uh, also press this button right here, wet only, which has the exact same effect as having the knob at 100. The last knob, the efficiency, uh, determines how much CPU is used. The lower you go, the more CPU it takes, but the better is the quality of the reverb. You can also have like cool uh, lo-fi effects if you turn this one all the way up. When you're about to bounce your project and you want to uh, make sure you have the best quality reverb, just Leave this button on right here. Check out Wingsound on the iTunes store to subscribe to the podcast, listen to some music, and download the free iPhone app that will keep you up to date with all of the latest releases from Wingsound Studios. Just search for Wingsound at the iTunes store.